Did not think about this when we got a Fiat. Shit. No. Wow. Oh. Oh, not so. oh no. Oh, I'm gonna get a Fiat. And then that's gonna have to go back soon. Yeah. Look what he got us! <laughs> this is amazing. It's in the front, yeah. No, it can go in the back. Thank you, babe. Oh my god! Press the button. <laughs> uh, mirror check. <laughs> Good morning guys, it is a beautiful morning in Ibiza. I'm coming at you a very fresh faced. I've literally just woken up. I had the longest sleep. We got up at 5am yesterday for the airport. I was on time, ready early. We got to the airport early, stunning. We get to the airport and everything seems fine. Check in for our flight, we get on the plane everything is fine 45 minutes later after sitting on the plane 45 minutes we're told we're not going on that plane and it's gonna take another hour but we need to get off the plane and we need to go back and we need to go to a gate and we need to reboard so we're like okay we wait at a new gate for an hour maybe more and then we're told to just this isn't your gate anymore just go out into the airport we were meant to take off at 9.05 and we <laughs> we took off at like 2 p.m i have the worst luck with flying like honestly the worst luck so it took us a long it took us a long time to get here but i'm very happy that we are finally here i'm just waiting for ryan to wake up and then we're gonna go and get some breakfast and have a nice like chill day i can't wait but very very grateful that we made it here because there was a point when we were not sure that we were gonna make it and I was very sad. I was very, very upset so I am so happy to be here. Okay, just need to wash my face, put on some sun cream and we are going. <laughs> we are going for breakfast. <laughs> You're just gonna make me look ugly now because I'm laughing so much. I'm not doing washing my face. <laughs> I've never seen you do it so carefully. Double ASMR. All the hydration today. My face is so dry. I got a fresh one. You watched the last vlog. You know. Okay, guys, let's see what is the breakfast buffet saying. Like, oh my god, so far. I am in heaven. This is making me so happy. Mm. Yes, gonna be coming back here. Oh my god, these look so good. Oh my god, avocado toast. Ryan's gonna be so happy. Oh my god, this is the kind of breakfast that I would have had as a kid. I would have absolutely plowed through this. Okay, our room has been cleaned, so quick room tour before we completely mess it up again. Like, we got an upgrade. I don't know how we get this luck. It's unreal. So, you come in. I don't know if any of you remember what our suite looked like last year. It's actually a little bit smaller than this, I would say. This one also has just some slightly different, cooler features. So, you walk into the room, and you've got the long mirror here and we have the wardrobe and your like amenities on this section here the wardrobe is so nice and big all of my outfits are making me really happy i have fully unpacked so can't wait to show you all the outfits and then you come through here sofa we've obviously got baby shrimp had to come with us because <laughs> we miss her we just stroke this every so often like we do the dog it's really weird <laughs> it's like an instinctual stroke we have the bed 
Ryan's just loving the view. And then we have we have a double view. This is unreal. So you have this. Keep on going. We have the kind of mountain view over here, and this is a little beach that we actually went to last year over here, which is so cool. And then little desk, cute, over this way, thank you sir. We have the view that we had last year, so like the whole of San Antonio Bay over there. I'm just, I love it so much, it makes me so happy. Seeing the sea and getting a sea view, it makes me so happy, but it doesn't stop there. So, hi. Over here, we have our bathroom. I love the way they have like the bed and the headboard kind of becomes part of the bathroom. I think it's so cool, so, Similar setup to last year, the most amazing mirrors, they pivot as well, which are just, oh, it's amazing, so good if you do my job. It's just unreal, I can light myself without having to bring like lighting, it's great. We have the toilet in here, everything is mirrored along here, which again, I am obsessed with. And then, in here, we have a bath and like wet room shower situation, and it has the most insane view from the bathtub it's so cool i just think that's amazing so yeah i'm very happy with our room it's a bit cloudy today isn't it yeah yesterday the sun was just setting yeah we didn't luck out with the weather today but apparently it's going to get better tomorrow so it's all good yeah oh my god the sunset i think we got some of the sunset last night you might have seen that but yeah it's so nice like this is like right at the top we're kind of like northwest here. The more west side of northwest, so you get a really good sunset, and I love that. And they have a rooftop bar as well, which is stunning. Also, just if you didn't watch last year's vlog, the whole hotel is all inclusive, which I feel like is kind of rarer here, and I just love it so much. Like when they come and offer you whatever you want to drink at dinner. Yeah, we're like west northwest. It's a funny shaped island. Leave it. <laughs> we're west. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's like showing me a map, like your geography. Is poor. But yeah, so I just, I love it here. This is one of my favorite hotels that I've been to in Ibiza, it's just so cool. But yeah, we're gonna have a little chill by the pool now. Maybe the roof, did you wanna do rooftop yeah. pool? Rooftop pool, maybe a dip. It is quite warm, but I can't tell if it's just in our room that it's warm, but it still feels very warm. And then we're gonna go get a little froyo because that is like my favorite thing to do when I'm here. Most people are like, yes, come to Ibiza to get like blind, drunk. I'm like, froyo, froyo and a sea walk. So it's raining quite a lot, so we've come to the spa and Ryan said that in order to make the spa worth the money in the hotel <laughs> he's making me go in the cold plunge pool. So I hope you all enjoy watching me suffer. He's gonna vlog it. He said I have to go to at least make five. <laughs> so. Go on, you got to go. No. How have you been in this so casually? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the best, the best we're getting? Ah, always works, do it for the ground. This is it. <laughs> Gone back for round three, I think. Did you get the euphoric feeling? Dramatic without telling me you're overdramatic. No, I actually think I might die. <laughs> My legs aren't itchy, I think I might die. <laughs> you're gonna go in the sauna and then you're gonna go in the cold pool. Mm -hmm. You're insane. Look at him. Look at him. What a nutcase. He's just been in the sauna and now he's in the freezing cold plunge pool. You okay? Yeah. Do you feel refreshed? <laughs> Is it hypothermia? Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I am sat outside in the rain. We have been coming here for four years together now. It's never rained. Never. It's never rained, has it, when we've come to Ibiza before? Mm. What luck. Hello, I feel like I barely spoken to you this afternoon we have literally just been chilling we went to the spa literally just floated around in there for a couple of hours we've had a bath it's just literally been the most zen day normally our ibiza days are quite 
we normally say for a smaller section of time and they're quite back to back so this is like super alien for us but it's actually been really nice to just like chill and do nothing together because even when we're home at the moment we don't really like have a nothing day so it's actually been quite nice even though obviously i would love it if it was sunny but we can't have everything in life and it's still just been a lovely chill day i actually haven't had a bath in I actually can't tell you how long it's been since I last had a bath. It's been a really long time. It's very, very nice. The bath in these rooms is so good. But now I'm doing some makeup because we need to go for dinner. We are starving. I think we definitely like got our appetite up while swimming. So basically we are going to our favorite pasta place in Ibiza. It's just the nicest restaurant. Like you might be thinking, why pasta? It's just such a lovely little restaurant. The staff are so great. It's just always the most enjoyable experience for us. The drinks are really good. The food is really good. And when, you know, when you have a favorite, like even though it's not what you would normally maybe eat when you're in Spain or on a Spanish island, like it's just it's just such nice vibes and we always have a good time so i'm really looking forward to that i'm topping up my makeup because i feel like you know when you've been swimming and you just have got water all over your face and the makeup is barely hanging in there that is the situation right now but by the looks of things the weather is going to get better from like tomorrow afternoon onwards so we've rejigged a lot of our plans we weren't planning on going to this restaurant until like our last evening so we've just moved a lot of the plans around bless ryan he has been like the planner like mr planner to be honest he's mr planner most of the time when we're in ibiza it is the best because i get to like switch my brain off i basically leave it at home it doesn't even it's not even off on standby it's just not it's not with us when we come to ibiza and it's so nice and ryan has planned all of our dinners for this like some places i've never been to before so i'm really excited for that but we i say we ryan has been rejigging them this afternoon so that the ones where we want to sit outside like we'll have nice weather so really looking forward to those tomorrow and thursday what am i doing with my eyeballs what do i want to do tonight I think I'm just gonna keep it simple. I'm wearing like a bright outfit for me this evening. So I think I'm just gonna keep the eyes quite simple. We're gonna go in with Armani number 20, 22, 22. I love an Ibiza date night. They're my favorite date nights. Where I'm really started the Ibiza date nights off very, very strong when we first came to Ibiza. And he actually took me backstage to Calvin Harris, which I just, when you're living it, you're like, oh yeah, this is, this is really cool. And then you say it out loud and you're like, that's a bit mad, that's a bit mad. And it was literally one of the best dates I've ever been on. So he started off very, very strong and now has dug himself a hole because now he has to organize all of the Ibiza date nights. It's just become an automatic thing. I don't know how it, oh, I don't even know how it happened. It just happened. I didn't even orchestrate that goals love you if you're listening his headphones are in he just bless him he pops his headphones in and i chat away to you guys for hours and make us late for dinner people ask me why i'm always late and it's generally because i am most of the time doing this and if i'm not doing this i'm talking to the phone camera and uh you might think why don't you just organize your time better and the answer to that is that I don't have an answer. You are probably right. So I've given myself plenty of time to get ready today, but I'm still in a rush for dinner because the catch 22 is I am starving. So that's good. I feel like there's a funny light above me. I'm gonna have to turn that off. Please hold. The light? Oh, yes. Ah, oh, stunning. Oh, this concealer. If you need a new concealer and you are looking to spend like high-end levels of money, the Givenchy Prism Libra concealer, it is unmatched oh, just looks so good on the skin really good coverage but it's got it's the texture for me the texture of it is just insane it's got this like gorgeous creamy consistency yes i am adding more bronzer let me live like, it gives this gorgeous creamy consistency that then makes your skin look so perfect i just love it so much same with the merit bronzer the two of them are a match made in heaven like some days that's all i wear on my skin i don't even wear like a tinted moisturizer because they're that lovely together oh i'm also using a new blush today i used it this morning i don't know if you will have seen i think i showed me using it i'm using this blusher from valentino it's literally the first time i'd use it it's so nice it's the eye to cheek dual use blush and shadow blusher in shade three like a very light cool toned almost purpley pink it's really beautiful i actually think purple blushes like are really really gorgeous 
I don't know why we don't wear them more. I don't, I don't love a warm tone. It's not for me. Nose bronze. Let's just blend that a bit. All right, we need to do these brows. And also, I need to tell you about this brow product that I have been using, and you all have seen me use many times. But I was, like, yesterday years old, right, when I realised, yes, I did go and buy a new brow pencil the other day. I didn't, didn't realise this literally until yesterday. Not only is there a spoolie, and there's a little felt tuppy thing, but also... That there, that's an eyebrow pencil. So I didn't actually need to go and buy a new one. And this has now become my favorite brow product in the world because never have I ever seen or owned a three in one brow product before. That is, the design of this is so good. Like the Anastasia one, you get spoolie, you get pencil. You do not get the tip as well, the felt tip. I just think that is genius. I'm just so impressed. Like that has blown my mind. It is literally all you need. If you're someone that likes to use both and you get annoyed having to buy loads of different products and you also want a spoolie but you don't want a random like spoolie on a wand that gets really grubby, you need this. This is insane. Yes, it's probably really expensive. I haven't actually looked up how much this is, but I would buy this with my own money. So impressed with it. I am gonna do blush and then I'm not going to do any liner. We're just gonna go pink this evening to match the dress. I think that would be so nice. Shade one does not like pop in the same way that shade three does, but that's okay. We'll just add more. To be fair to it though, the texture of these blushes on the skin is so nice. Lovely. The lips, I'm gonna do something different to my usual, which is the MAC Stone Lip Liner and Dior Lip Glow Oil. I'm gonna do things slightly different. I have got some Urban Decay lipsticks and I have a combo that I'm really enjoying. I actually wore this combo, I think for the Henley Festival and I really liked it and I completely forgot about it until j literally this week. Lining the lips. And then we're gonna go for the Urban Decay lipstick in Naked. It's a cream finish, really pigmented and they're not too slippy. And what I like to do at the moment is just apply this, which is why I'm talking funny, to the outer edges. So we're gonna leave the center because I'm gonna use the shade Oat Milk. Love that. And we're gonna pat that over the top, mostly concentrating it around the center. This on its own is a little bit too much for me unless I wear quite a dark lip liner in a warm tone. So just adding like a pink lipstick, I think just gives it some depth. That's done. I don't know what to do with my hair. I might leave it down. I kept it in a bun whilst I was in the bath and in the sauna and in the steam room, so it's kind of like curled itself. If you are ever staying in a hotel that has like a sauna or spa, do that. It's literally like the easiest hair curl of your entire life. I think we are ready for this. It just makes everything look so perfect. Okay, so. This is my outfit for the evening. It's a little Reformation two-piece, which I've had my eye on for so long. Decided to pick it up last minute when I was outfit planning for the holiday. I just wanted like a kind of like a dressy, but like not too dressy evening outfit that could potentially be worn in the day in case we went to like anything daytime dressy, but that I didn't want to wear a bikini cover-up situation to. So I picked this up and I love it. I wear this top slightly ruched up though and i think it looks really cute let's get dressed we are nearly ready to go ryan is just steaming his shirt as you can see but yeah this is the outfit <laughs> this is the outfit this top is actually longer but i've kind of rolled it up and made it a crop top because i just didn't i found the overlap of material just it's a bit thin so you could see this like where the where they were overlapping so my body is not very long and i just didn't find it to be all that flattering so i just made it a little kind of like crop top weird 90s boob tube vibe but i actually kind of like it the skirt i've sat slightly lower down on my waist and then i've got my fendi slides my ysl over the shoulder bag and then my earrings are i don't know where the gold hoops are from but the rainbow ones i think are monica vinida the pink one is raimi and then on the other side i have a different pink Raimi earring that goes into like a cuff. Love the Raimi pieces. Yeah, this is the outfit so far completed by the lovely all-inclusive tag, which is just ruining 
all of the outfits right now, but we're gonna ignore it. Dinner time. This is literally like these corridors are my favorites. The walls are all like bumpy and everything is like so neutral. It's so pretty. The pasta mobile. <laughs> to, the, <laughs> to the pasta mobile. <laughs> in we go. This is a tight squeeze. The person next to me doesn't understand that this girl's about to eat a lot of pasta and probably won't be able to get back in and it's not raining we could put the top down if we want to even a little bit of sun we might get some Tiny sun bit. we might get an actual sunset if we're lucky i need to be siri please hold okay i might not be able to vlog this because we we have to pay extra attention when we're driving on the other side of the road <laughs> get you a girl that can do both there we are <laughs> It's busy. Where are the drinks? Oh my god, you guys, the little flowers are so cute. They do not skim on the gym. The amount of times I've got very drunk in here. Cheers, even though I've already taken loads of sips. Yeah. Oh my god. Wow, how did I make it do this? That's so cool. Wow. That looks so good. Please be good weather. Please be good weather. Please be good weather. You ready? <laughs> that was worth getting zero sleep last night for. The rain was horrendous. You do not want a corner suite when it's a storm. <laughs> I barely slept. Another one of the things that I really like about this hotel is it has its own little walkway down to this beach. And we've come to this beach before when we've like not been staying here. And I don't know, I just really like the fact that it's got, it's basically got its own short car. I've never got to this beach so quick. Sand always looks so nice, but my gosh, it is so uncomfortable. Like there's just like, there's a few bits of sand in my shoe and I already want to lie down and cry. Should we go home then? Yeah, the let's, let's go home. Let's go to Brighton where there's just stones that kill my feet. Basically, I'm just not a beach lover. Not a beach gummy. Not one with nature. Sometimes a beach club girl. I need to clarify that. This guy, however, he is a beach lover. He's been in the sea multiple times back home in the last week. Loves it. There he is, loving life. <laughs> we have had breakfast, we've been for a little dip in the sea. My dip was more for photo purposes than anything else because I'm not beach kind of girl, as you all know. But now we are going to do one of my favorite things that I love to do every time we come to Ibiza. I literally think about it far too much. We're going to get frozen yogurt. It's literally, it's my, it's all I like to do when I'm here. It's really, really bizarre because I never do it at home, but when I'm here, it's like my tradition. I absolutely, this and going to the pasta place, I absolutely love doing. I'm gonna show you my outfit of the day. You will have seen this one before, but I just love it. So this is a Reformation linen two-piece. It's just literally the cutest set that I've ever owned. I absolutely love it. I've got Monica Vinader jewellery on as well. I think you can still use my code if you want 20% off. So the drop earrings and the necklace are from Monica Vinader. This necklace I am obsessed with. It's so cool. And then my bracelets are also from Monica Vinader. And my ring is from Raimi, this blue one. There we go. My blue ring is from Raimi. My pinky ring is from Astrid and Miu. And then on this hand we've got Monica Vinader swirly ring and then an Astrid and Miu chain ring and then a mango beaded ring. And then my clutch is from Galt Gaia and my shoes are my YSL tribute sandals. Hello. Uber for one? Yeah. We are in my happy place. And there we go. Dip on top. White chocolate. I think it's hazelnut. Oh, no. Got a question. How often do you think about yogurt, frozen yogurt? More than most men think about the Roman Empire. <laughs> Let me tell you that. I think about this all the time. Multiple times a day. Mm. It's so good. I just love watermelon flavour anything. Apart from sweets, I'm not a sweet girl. Oh, you had watermelon, did you? Mm. Interesting. Sometimes we go for a mix, don't we? Yeah. Like we mix the two, strawberry and watermelon. But 
Just feeling watermelon vibes today, it's so fresh. I also went for watermelon. Coconut was not vegan. That's annoying. Because that would be so nice. Yeah, with like Oreos and granola and mm. I can't really have any of the sweets, but mm. that was all I wanted to ask. Mm. It's just so refreshing. Mm. Whee! Give me a wee! Whee! <laughs> that was some good frozen yogurt. We are back in the hotel. Well, I'm back in the hotel room now. Ryan has gone to go and get some Pringles. And we are going to go and have some pool time now. There's a few pools in this hotel. And one of them is on the roof. And it just gets the best views. And it's just like such nice vibes to... My ring is really stuck right now. It's just such nice vibes to go and chill up there. And it's literally one of the things that we loved the most about it the last time we came. So that is what we are. Oh my god, I'm really stuck. Time for the pool. Oh. Look at that. It's even better than I remembered. Good evening, everybody. I am just getting ready for dinner. I, <laughs> I was just going to do like makeup over makeup it's the go-to when i want to be ready for dinner on time i'm not even joking i'm in the shower and i go to switch from like the big ceiling rainfall waterfall shower thingy to the little handheld one and <laughs> it was way more powerful than i was expecting and i fully sprayed myself in the face so <laughs> i ruined my makeup so we are starting from scratch and we're all gonna pray that i'm ready for dinner on time because I am literally always late and there is nothing that bugs Ryan more about me than my lateness. So my goal is to be ready on time. So we're doing express glam. Fortunately, all of that mood boarding that I did before we left the country has come in very handy because I now know what I'm gonna wear at all times. And I've pre-planned my outfit for today. All I need to pick is my jewelry and I'm pretty much halfway there. So let's do an express get ready with me montage and i need you to all keep me in your thoughts ready for dinner i'm on time smashing fortunately my hair held up even though i managed to spray my myself in the shower and the front got wet and yeah it's just it's it's on its last legs but i've managed to make it hold up so that's good because it saved me a lot of time the dress that i'm wearing is from zara ryan has picked this one out for this evening i had too many options for this trip so i was like can you just pick one please so yeah the dress is from zara it actually goes like there's two strings and they're meant to go like this but i've made it asymmetric i did this by accident yesterday because i put it on wrong but it actually looked so much better on me than how it's meant to be worn so this is just how i'm wearing it so it's got a low back i love the low back like mm, low back on any on anything I'm just obsessed with and it's a really nice length as well i haven't had to have this altered at all so it will be more midi length if you are over five foot two but if you're a shorter girl get your hands on this and then my shoes are and other stories my bag is from oliver bonus i've had this for so long and just started like styling it a lot more recently i'm a big fan of it my earrings are all rainy little blue earrings that Amelia gifted me and then I've got Monica Venida bracelets and an Etsy bangle from my friend Lauren and then this is from Monica Venida and I've got an Astrid Amiu chain thumb ring on and that is it looking gorgeous Ryan thinks he looks like a chef Trousers. I think you look gorge so handsome is that you frying things yeah. I love Okay, let's get out of here. Guys, I 
have a hunch. I think I might be proposed to. TBC, stand by. Sorry, short intermission because we're inside the restaurant and <laughs> there's a cat. Oh my God, you are precious. Oh, I miss Shrinky. Okay, Ryan wants to show me something. <laughs> wow, this, is, this hotel is gorgeous. Stunning. I always said I'd never do this. <laughs> What's that on your finger? <laughs> I can't stop writing. Do you know what's in this? There is nothing. There is nothing in this except tissues. <laughs> I suspected that I might need. <laughs> I just, I just wanted to remember this. So here's to Ryan getting the vlogging camera. <laughs> <laughs> I asked you so many times about coming to Esvedra. I know, but we just probably Not been what? that bothered. You didn't have a choice this time. I mean, <laughs> this is the perfect time. It's the most magical, this is the most, like this whole thing is the most magical thing I've ever seen, but that, that's, that's a rock. <laughs> that is a rock. <laughs> my, one of my engagement posts, I wanted to be the SpongeBob audience. Like, it's not just a boulder. <laughs> Thank you so for making my dreams come true. That's all good. So, on so many levels. It really is a rock. So, we're gonna have a nice evening now, and I'm gonna continue to cry for probably like the next month. Um, I will be back with you. Good morning, everybody. I am the living definition of that TikTok audio that is like, prepare right now to be sick of me. Either I'm gonna be, that's gonna be me. You know you envision being proposed to, but I, like, and I've envisioned it in my brain so many times. It was a hundred times better than I could ever have envisioned, but now I'm like, the one thing I didn't think about was what to say to camera so i am incredibly unprepared it also does not help that i am slightly hungover i'm i'm unwell i need water i need a lot of water but i need to get ready to go for lunch now like there's so much i want to talk to you about but i need to get ready to go for lunch at the same time so we're gonna we're gonna chat and we're gonna do some makeup and i'm gonna try to make sense we're gonna start off with the beauty pie sheer tinted oil free SPF thingy because I need to add some life to my face. So last night we got to dinner and and it was an early dinner. Like I was thinking this this is 6 p.m. is 6 p.m. normal time at home time dinner time. 6 p.m. in Ibiza not dinner time it's basically like a late lunch and I was kind of like oh this is early and Ryan was like Oh, it's because it's fully booked. Because it's fully booked, we get there. And the restaurant is empty. And the, I'm not twigging. I'm like, I'm suspecting that it might happen, but I'm, I was not prepared for what was going to happen. And we sit down and we're just, we ordered our drinks. I ordered a margarita. I was a little bit nervous. So that margarita may have been completely sunk within like the first 10 minutes. And we're sitting, we're looking at the menu. Ryan goes, oh, I'm just gonna go to the loo. I was like, yeah, cool. That was at the point where I decided to sink my margarita. And Ryan comes back and from where we were sat, it was like this area in Petunia, which is this really beautiful hotel, restaurant, situation and we're kind of like by the pool and there's a little bit of a view of Esvedra which is like if you don't know it's I describe it as a giant magical rock but I think lots of people would be slightly horrified by my description 
of etc but it's i can see it from where we're sat so i'm like oh this is really beautiful just like kind of taking in the vibes i'm like oh actually once the sun starts going down it's gonna be really stunning here like yeah really vibey i reckon like he might propose after dinner when it's like maybe a bit more candle lit like oh yeah really nice vibes love that ryan comes back from the loo from the loo and he says to me oh there's a really good viewing point apparently for us Vedra, around the corner if you want to go and get some pics for your instagram me being the basic bitch that i am i'm like yes love that love a photo moment for my instagram and we walk through the restaurant and i see that there's loads more tables and there's loads more like ones that i know that ryan might have picked for like a more private romantic -y vibe and i'm like it's kind of weird that like maybe ryan has asked has asked to switch our table and actually like i don't know meanwhile i'm vlogging a cat whilst this is all going on in my brain and in hindsight now i'm like ryan must have been like for god's sake stop vlogging the cat and we walk out through the back and it's like this really beautiful garden and there's like a little kitchen garden situation going on and my brain starts going oh this there's so many more beautiful places to this hotel than i thought like why are we sat where we were sat and then ryan's like we're gonna go a bit off road here so we're walking along gravel in my heels and I'm like, okay, interesting. And we walk up this hill and I see that like there's a pergola and there's a little table underneath it. And I'm like, oh, that would be such a nice place to eat dinner. See a member of staff standing by it. The table is set up, there's flowers. And then Ryan starts walking towards it. And then it starts, I'm like, this is for, this, this is for, this is for us. <laughs> These tissues, I always wonder why they put tissues in hotels. Like, I'm like, who uses the tissue box in hotels? It's me. I use the tissue boxes in hotels. Fortunately, my clutch bag, full of tissues. They were very handy. And I then turn and there's like this whole amazing view of Espedra and it's just so gorgeous. And Ryan gets down on one knee and proposes. I think there may be a video that you might have seen a bit of and it was just honestly the most magical moment of my life i <laughs> i can't like not cry like i watched the vlog footage back this morning and i was crying all over again and it was just it was it was the best i also the one of my favorite moments as i turn around and like there's the member of staff and she's like yay and then there's a guy who like comes out of a bush <laughs> and ryan has a whole photographer situation as well and it was just more than i i i was just expecting a very simple gorgeous little moment after dinner like i i literally ryan could propose to me in bed with a takeaway and i just would be like yes <laughs> this is the best so yesterday night was literally the most magical thing like i have already said i was like i don't know how weddings are like how is a wedding gonna top your proposal like it can't i just don't think it can top that for me it was the most incredible surprise um so now i am starting to feel a bit awkward because i'm coming to the end of my story but basically yeah we sat and had dinner so i loved that it was proposal and then dinner and everyone was like oh you can move inside if you get a bit chilly because it's a bit breezy and i was like no i will sit here until it is dark i am going i will be here i don't care if i lose the feeling in my fingers i will be sat here until it gets dark thank you ryan is choosing by the way to leave me to tell this story he is right there <laughs> can they see your i don't think they can see you oh they can just see your hand there it is <laughs> there it is <laughs> he's letting me have my moment that's them <laughs> we then had so many cocktails which didn't really like hit from the adrenaline so now i'm like really hung over but i didn't honestly didn't feel like i drank anything at all last night but my head today says no honey you drank a lot and it was just it was the best evening we facetimed our families and they were all just like so, so cute and so happy and it's just like the best um, oh i did the girls so i <laughs> I'll insert footage of me FaceTiming all the girls because I know you guys will probably really enjoy seeing that. I didn't expect to cry, but one of them, one of them had me going. And yeah, it's just been the best morning, like ringing everyone. I've still got a few more phone calls, like some people haven't picked up yet. So I still have a few more 
to do like everyone's in different time zones as well so i still need to do alana that i think i'll do that I'll, I'll do her this evening so yeah still got a few more to go but we're working our way through with i think you'll see this video in a few days but i just wanted to give it time to like tell everyone or as many people as physically possible before you guys see it so yeah that is the best news that is the best that is the best oh i just i'm so happy and also we realized that i think it is basically this is real tmi but i'm going to tell you anyway because i just think it's so magical but four years ago this week i think almost to the day i think almost to the day i came back from a trip to ibiza and i told ryan that i loved him so this is just literally like so full circle and magical and i just literally it's just the best i'm trying not to cry again but that's going to be me for the rest of this vlog is just like trying not to ugly cry i hope you enjoy that but yeah we we need to get ready to go out for lunch because i feel like i'm waffling on and i don't want to make us late because i'm deciding that now that i'm a fiance i'm gonna try and be on time for things so yeah i was 15 minutes early for dinner yesterday and ryan was floored he was like of course of course you were early for the dinner that you highly suspect that you're being proposed to on shocking i'm gonna i'm gonna insert the facetime footage here now of me telling all my friends and family and we'll be back with you on our way to lunch my best friend. <laughs> Ryan proposed and I just cracked open my clutch and all that was in it was tissues. <laughs> Wait, you have to tell me all about it. first lunch as a fiance i am wearing this reformation dress you guys will have seen this so many times i love it it's one of my favorite things that i own in my wardrobe and i've worn it so much this summer i've got my cult guy raffia bag which has also been a summer staple for me and then my bottega slides again a summer staple my jewelry is monica vinida earrings an aurelia necklace and then my engagement ring a Raimi ring and then my usual Monica Venida stack. Hair is down and just fresh out of a bun, so questionable waves, but we're rolling with it. And that is my outfit of the day. We're here and it's 
not completely empty because Ryan gets really awkward about that. <laughs> Just like a little bit of that. Yeah. You made it. A little bit of vibes, a little bit of that moss. I love that. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh, I just love it here. It's such nice vibes. Look, guys, we're not even in it yet and I'm already like so excited. The gardens here are it's the stuff my dreams are made of. I just, it's insane. Everything is cute green colours. So nice. Screaming. It is so gorgeous. First lunch with my fiance. Oh, it's, it needs to be in every shot now. <laughs> oh, starters! This looks insane. This is avocado ceviche with like little nachos and some chips. Mmm, yum. Mm -hmm. Times two. Mm? Yum times two. Times two. You and the food. Mm? You and the food. Look at this gorgeous little area. It's literally so peaceful here. It's so nice. <gasps> Loving the combo of sunflowers and lavender. I think I might have to implement this at home. It's so gorgeous. Hello. How are you? How are you doing? How are you doing? Shut up. I fucking knew it. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, it's beautiful! Thanks! Oh, congrats! I haven't spoken to Don't. you! <laughs> Tell me! <laughs> and Ibiza? Of course, yes, Ibiza. Oh, Ibiza. Oh, oh Ibiza! Enjoy your gym. I'm going now. <laughs> Call me later. I love you. Congrats. I love you. I'm gonna call you when I'm home. Okay. I'm gonna call you when I'm home. I love you. Bye. <laughs> Hi, my fiance. You look lovely. <laughs> We're ready for dinner. We're going into Ibiza Old Town. Uh, I'm gonna use this mirror. Hang on. One of my favorite places to go for dinner. That I just love. I just love it there. It makes me so happy. We're going to our favorite restaurant there. We're probably gonna do a little sunset walk around. This is my dress for the evening from Magda Butram. I think that's how you say it. So it's like sheer and I have like special underwear on underneath it. I will link if you need some really invisible underwear. Could not recommend enough. Yeah, just loose waves and Monica Vinida stud earrings, Monica Vinida bracelets. Hands are very minimal, neckline very minimal because we've got a lot going on with the dress. But yeah, I love this, I think you're probably gonna see me wearing this a lot because I now have the best excuse to wear white 24 seven, even though we're going into winter. I, woo! <laughs> I love wearing white, this makes me so happy. Love being that human being that wears white 24 seven. So this is the best, best, best excuse. So yeah, you're probably gonna see this a lot more and I love it. So let's go for dinner. This is the full outfit in case you wanted to see it. Let's go. going to be swimming this morning. Guess who's ready first this morning, guys? Mm. It's me! <laughs> Ryan just said, you're a changed woman. Engaged life has changed you. Well, for three days. <laughs> how long do we reckon this will last? Basically just on best behaviour, a bit like how you are as a kid at Christmas. Probably until we get home. <laughs> when I'm in my normal routine and I'm like, that takes five minutes and you're thinking that takes an hour. 
<laughs> anyway, we're gonna go for breakfast once. Ryan has finished taking so long. I've got to um, shoot a few TikToks after this. So. Oh, do you? Yeah. <laughs> Get ready with me in the mirror. <laughs> That's what I always do, I'm always ready. And then I'm like, oh, but I need to do TikToks and photos and vlog my outfit. And Ryan's like, right, that's another 20 minutes. Okay. Minimum. Minimum. But anyway, we're going to go for breakfast once Ryan is ready. And then we're just going to head to the airport. <laughs> I don't want to go. It's a good day to go, though, to be fair. Yeah, the weather is pants. But it's meant to get really nice from here on out, so... <laughs> I saw someone on Instagram was coming out on their Hindu, literally leaving today, and I was like, oh, you get the good weather. <laughs> Off we go. Last drive in the fear. Ooh, airport lighting is making this pop off. So sparkly. We just got the photos back that the photographer took, the one that I mentioned popped out the bushes and we're just waiting for them all to load. I'm literally so excited, like I just keep like blubbering every so often. Literally like the best day of my life. Why do I always look like an egg? Why do I always look like I'm just waking up? Also, I hope this explains why I was so excited in the last vlog. I was literally like bouncing off the walls in the last vlog. And I think people thought it was a bit weird because I've gone from like Renault delusion of like wanting to cry all the time to like bouncing off walls. What at home? Yeah. So you had a suspicion? Oh, uh, they know. I told them. I knew, but I had no idea. Is, yeah. I knew, but I had no idea. I just keep squeezing him every so often. Not me crying. Oh my god. I I actually just can't. This is the best. Like, I never ever thought that we'd have a photographer when we got engaged. It's unreal. This one has been more excited to get the photos than even I have. I feel like we really roll reversed this week. <laughs> You've been like, I can't wait for the photos. Where are the photos? On load. This will be me the entire flight, just blubbering and looking at photos. Do I want to vlog your sandwich? Yeah, it's a lovely uh, hummus and beetroot sandwich with vegetables. I'm marrying this man, guys. <laughs> this guy. There are two types of people, and apparently they marry each other. 